Republicans run the world now, which means anti-abortion bills are popping up as often as my ex at the grocery store. <laughs> Michael, the La Cienega Trader Joe's is my territory. Get it. In 2016, 50 state-level abortion restrictions were enacted. Already in just the first two months of 2017, 54 have been considered. Good God, slow your roll, Republicans. You're gonna blow your whole anti-abortion load before spring. <laughs> State and federal abortion laws have names designed to obscure their purposes, like the Sanctity of Human Life Act, Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act, Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. Ah, oh, those are great enunciation exercises for actors. <laughs> Pain Capable Protection Act, Watermelon Cantaloupe. So, See ready to stage. step right on stage. Thank you very much. But don't let their fancy word dances fool you. All these laws aim to do is make safe abortions impossible. Now, classic anti-abortion bills imposed ridiculous requirements like mandatory waiting periods, forced ultrasounds, and regulating how wide the hallways have to be in clinics. But now, Arkansas has a whole new tactic. They're throwing dicks at the problem. A new abortion law in Arkansas raising some eyebrows tonight. It lets a husband sue a doctor to stop his wife from getting an abortion. That remains true even in cases of spousal rape. The act was signed by Arkansas's governor and it goes into effect later this year. Oh, uh, I expected better from Arkansas. Mm. Just kidding, that sounds about right. <laughs> Arkansas, it's not a competition, but you were just outdone by Oklahoma, a firework stand shaped as a state. Representative Justin Humphrey says he's been getting calls and threats over his bill that would only allow abortion with the father's consent. He's also received backlash over his use of the term host to refer to a pregnant woman. When I use the term host, it's not meant to uh, degrade women. Uh, I, I actually went and Googled that and I went to Webster and I couldn't find a better term. No, I get it. I was gonna call him a dumb redneck hillbilly piece of shit, but only because I couldn't find a better word on Google. Yeah, <laughs> go back to Cormac McCarthy con, lady. <laughs> Justin's pissed because he thinks that we've excluded men from these types of decisions. Excuse me, cowboy, the only people ever making decisions about a woman's right to abortion are men in government. More men have signed anti-choice legislation than have posted Donnie Darko explanations on Reddit. <laughs> anti-choice men are so loud. It's time for pro-choice men to get even louder. Hi, I'm 32. I'm 25. I'm 40. I'm 53. Hey, Mom! How old am I? And I want to say thanks. Thanks. Thanks to Catherine. Thanks to Amanda. Thanks to that one chick from that one time in the Panera bathroom at exit 27 off the I-95. For having that abortion. For having that abortion. Because I'm incredibly forgetful. <laughs> because I failed at being a dad the first time around. Because sometimes I have a short fuse. Yeah, so thank you to all those smart ladies who knew they weren't ready to raise a kid. And who knew that we sure as shit weren't able to do it either. No! All of these balls are bullshit! Wow. I know. Angry. Imagine if those golf balls were babies. Uh. Look, some things just don't get along. Dogs and cats, Azalea Banks and everyone. <laughs> Anti-choice men and me. But if they want to take away my reproductive rights, they'll have to pry them out of my cold, dead uterus. All right. I won't get that image out of my head, but thank you.